हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल डेवलप कंसल्टेंसी एंड सोल्यूशन इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव टॉक्ड इन डिटेल अबाउट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ होस्टेड जोन अवेलेबल इन एज योर डेव ऑप्स एंड आई हैव क्रिएटेड सेल्फ होस्टेड जोन इन एज योर डेव ऑप्स एंड कंफिगर इट प्लीज फील फ्री टू चेक इट आउट लिंक इज प्रोवाइडेड इन डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड पेंड इट आउट इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू क्रिएट एंड कंफिगर वर्चुअल मशीन स्किल सेट सेल्फ होस्टेड एजेंट इन एज योर डेव ऑप्स वर्चुअल मशीन स्किल सेट in azure gives the flexibility to scale virtual machines in and out on demand so for a big organization where there are huge number of pipelines and if we have virtual machine skill set as an agent in azure devops then virtual machine agents will scale in and out on demand for execution of those pipelines so let's get started in order to create the virtual machine skill set agent first you need to create the virtual machine skill set in azure portal and then refer it in agent pool while creating it so let's get started here i am already logged in into my azure portal and in this uh, azure portal i have one resource group devops cns right so now i will create the virtual machine skill set so i will click here on the virtual machine skill set i will click here create virtual machine skill set so here i will select the my resource group devops cns so i will give the name here vmss demo agent and select the availability zone 1 2 i select all the three availability zones i will go with the default option orchestration mode qt type and scaling mode manual so here i will give the count 3 rest options i will go default Here also I will go for the default options. Again, I will click on this. Same default options and networking. So here I will select the network interface which is created, and here I will select the option load balancing none. I don't want to use the load balancer for this virtual machine skill set, and I will click here management. Rest all options I will go for the default one. So I will quickly go select and. review create now the validation is done so i will click on the create button so i will download my private key so virtual machine skill set deployment has been started so now i will go to the azure devops and create the agent pool so here i am on the my devops azure portal so this is my organization in devops consultancy and solution and my project is devops cns so i will click on the organization setting which is on the bottom left corner so i will click on the organization setting right so if i scroll left up and down so i will see the agent pool so in the agent pool so right now i have the three agent pool which is there in my azure devops so i will click on the add pool button which is on the top right corner so i click here so here i will select the option azure virtual machine skill set so it is asking me further more details so i will select here my project devops cns a year subscription so it is asking me for a year subscription so i will click here on my azure subscription and select the authorize so now the authorization is done so i will select here the agent pool which i created into the azure portal so i select here so give the name here so i will give the name for the agent pool which is the same vmss demo agent pool so description same i will give the agent pool as per here so next option is the pool option so which means the automatically tear down virtual machine when after every use so in after one uh, use of the machine so it will tear down so i don't want to select that option because i want to run couple of jobs on the agent pool so maximum number of virtual machine in the skill set so i select here the three and the max number of agent pools which you want to keep on the standby so i don't want to uh, keep my machine any on the standby so i will go for the option zero and below there is an option uh, auto provisioning the agent pool in all projects so i unselect it and click on the create 
so now the agent pool has been created here into the organization setting so i will click uh, go to the project setting so i will click on my project and go for the project project setting which is again at the bottom left corner so click here i click on the agent pool so again i will go to pool button so in this it is asking do you want to create the new or you want to use the existing so i will click here on the existing because i have already created so i click here and select the agent pool which i created into the organization setting right and then it is asking me again the permission whether you grant an access to all the pipeline so i select here and un unselect it and click on the create so now the agent pool is created into the project so i click here and here you can see there is no job and in the agent if i go there is no agent right now there is no node so next step is i have to run the node configuration script so it will that the so the node will be added into the agent pool right so there are few commands that need to be run so but uh, in i have just created this script for that so i will show you so this is a script which is which i have created so i have declared few parameters right azure portal url so this is my devops uh, url and this is my organization name right and then next is the azure devops pool which i have created so this is the dnss devops agent pool which i created a token that i already created so that token i am mentioning here so how to create the token so if i click here on the user setting and go to the personal access token so here you can create the new token i have already token created so i am not going to create the new token right so this is the token so agent name so agent name is the because i have three virtual machines in my virtual machine skill set so agent name need to be unique or different so that's why i'm using the agent hyphen host name right so because i'm using the shell script i will use the shell script to create the you know to do the configuration installation of the node and do the configuration so the node will be added into the agent pool right next is the agent directory so where i want to so i just create uh, using this home azure user workspace right so few packages need to be installed those packages are like curl jq unzip and the uh, library ssl hyphen r so next i create the uh, workspace directory and doing the cd to that directory right so next is to step is to download the devops agent uh, to download the agent first i am getting the agent version so i am using this curl command to get the latest version of the node agent right so then i am using the agent url to download the task so here i'm using the agent version and then i'm downloading using the curl command to download the task next is i just untap that file that uh, into the directory into the workspace directory and i'm doing the running the config.sh script with these parameter like url authorization path token pool name agent node so it can be configured so it will configure this node and add into the agent pool so next step is to run that service so i'm using running the service sh script with the parameter so is first is will be the install parameter and second is the start so it will start the service so i will log into this server and run this script on that server okay so in order to log into the instance first i need to add the ssh port into the network so i will just go to the my virtual machine skill set so i click here on the networking so go to the network setting so now i will click here and select the inbound port route so source will be any destination i will select any because this is for the demo but you can give the ip so here i am using the ssl right 
Kamu klik siapa? So now I will click here on the instance. This is the instance. So I will select the instance first time. Um, so I will just copy the public IP and log into the server. So now I will run the SSS command. And add that script here, the script which I've shown you. So I will add this script also into the GitHub repository for your reference, and I will provide that link into the description for your reference. I will save this file. Give the permission to execute this script. So before execution, just the last one I will show you in the project and if I go to the agent pool so now if I go to the Azure DevOps agent pool so here you can see there is no agent into the uh, VMSS DevOps agent pool so now I will run this script Some upgrades are happening. So now it, it is configuring the agent. And the service has been stopped. The script executed very quickly. So now if I go back to the agent pool, now here you can see that agent has been added into the agent pool right so similarly i will execute this script for rest of the two virtual machines so now i have executed this script on all the three nodes so you can use this script and add into the uh, as a user data while creating the virtual machine skill set but i just want to show you how this uh, script is running and what how what will be the output so you can understand so that's why I executed this script manually on each node. But best way is you can run this script into the user data while creating the virtual machine scale set. So now here you can see all the three nodes that has been added as an agent into our agent pool. Right. So I will just copy this agent pool name. So now I will go back to the pipeline and run the pipeline and see how it is running on the agent. So I will use my existing pipeline. I'll just click on the pipeline and click here on the edit. So I will just give here the name to the virtual machine scale set demo agent pool. So pool name will be this. So I will just click here, save and run. So now it is asking for the permissions. So I will click here to give the permissions. I click it and run. So now the pipeline has been started. So I will, if I click here, so basically you can see here it has been started on this pool and the agent which it picked it, this one. So if I just copy the agent name here to verify. So I will go back to the agent pool settings. So here you can see the job is running on this agent uh, pool, demo agent pool. And if I click here on them, so here this is the answer on the agent. On the first agent, it is running the group. So in this way, we have learned how to create the virtual machine scale set in Azure portal and virtual machine scale set agent in Azure DevOps. Hope you have learned and understood it properly. Feel free to ask any question in the comment section if you have any doubt or you can email me at devopsconsultancyandsolution at gmail.com. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Happy learning and keep learning.